Welcome back to The Reality, guys. I'm your host, Brian, and today I'm talking Singles Inferno Season 3. Um, this is the third week of Batch of Episodes, and this is Episodes 6 and 7. Now, you can catch the show out on Netflix, along with the previous two seasons before it. And, guys, I, I, this is going to be a short review. They, these episodes are an hour and a half, but I, I really don't think anything happens of value. Um, we're really only on Day 5 and 6, and we're on Episodes 6 and 7, so... I'm just a little surprised. I, maybe I missed this when I was doing the season two review last year and also watching season one, but I'm kind of thinking this is like 10 days. The show is 10 days. Like if, unless it's not true, I, I don't know why they would tell us day like different, like why would they shorten the days uh, to the viewer? But there's 10 total episodes of the season, um, two more next week and then one the following week. I don't know why uh, they should just batch bunch them all together. I just don't know how you make a true connection with anyone, whether it's a show or not, in ten days, and especially like um, <laughs> the the one one girl's only been here for maybe two days, and uh, it I just I, I I don't know, and I don't know with their slow pace of getting to know somebody, I just don't know how you make a connection at all. Uh, I, I I don't understand, but we'll talk about it. <laughs> Uh, so for so for episode six, um, Guan He and He Soon they kind of allude to each other that um, she's he is her number one. He kind of is on the fence about it. Um, she still wants to talk to everyone and get to know them and also go to paradise, which I also I don't think is a bad idea. But with this ten day timeline, was what which I think it it probably is. I kind of feel like you need to be pretty possessive of the person you like because you want to take these opportunities to talk to them and i i was so like when i was writing these notes down i was like oh i'm, I'm on board with this plan but then when five or six minutes later it flashes up this is day five i was like we're, we're all we have only four episodes left i was kind of like whoa okay so you kind of need to be on a pretty much accelerated timeline here but we'll be we'll, we'll see um they get a message about a game that they're going to play um for a ticket to paradise and it's it's a woman's competition here and essentially what you need to do is the girls put on i thought this was gonna be like a furries thing at first but uh, you put on a colored hat and like, you have to put on a colored tail so it's like a just like a baseball like a dad hat baseball hat and then a tail on the back and it's it looks fairly easy to knock knock off and since there's six women it'll be a 2v2 or 1v1 uh battle and then the winners all three winners will do uh 1v1v1 but those three winners do get to go to paradise. I think it's, it was more of on the who the order will be picking. And that kind of matters because um, of who likes who and stuff like that. Um, so first uh, first matchup was uh, Siyun and Min Young, and uh, they are red. Uh, it was a pretty close battle. Um, I th- it was um, Min Young was down to just her tail for a little bit. But um, finally, Sinyu went in and, like, kind of threw, like, kind of sacrificed her hat to get around, like, kind of went in for, like, a close combat, like, they're, like, a hug almost, and then knocked the tail off. Um, second battle was yellow, yellows, and it was a Minyu and Giru, and um, Giru dominated. She, I don't even think she really got touched at all. She kind of just went in there and just took care of business, and it was pretty impressive. And finally, it was um, He Soon versus Ha Jung, and they were wearing blue. Um, he Soon was is usually like she looked pretty athletic. She took care of business too, but it wasn't as dominating as Yiru. So, and then, like I said, the final three matchups is a one v one v one. Yiru wins, so she would get first pick. And Siun, she was into she really kind of wanted to take Min Woo to kind of get to know him, and. They kind of show like Hey Soon and Siyun Siyun talking and like Hey I want to take the I want to take him and they they never really said Giru and she ends up taking him for, with the first pick so that kind of like throws a wrench into her plans. Um, he Soon takes Mount Monique and um, uh, Siyun takes uh, Park Min Yu. So again, like uh, the Paradise segments aren't terribly long. Um, there's a lot, just a lot of conversations that kind of drag. And there's just, I mean, in the beginning, they want to like kind of show off paradise and like show you what it's all about. But um, yeah, 
Um, later in the episode, um, Jin Suk and Min Yang, Min Young talk, and basically he, she's kind of into him now. Now that he went on Paradise last episode with Min Yu, and uh, the panel was kind of saying like, "Oh, now she wants to like pro- profess her feelings and like be interested in him when he's kind of." kind of being drawn in another direction so we'll have to see how that goes i mean he was winking at her a couple times throughout these this episode of the next one so i feel like because she kind of now is in the guan he i think um because they go everyone's in the guan he they're all talking to him so i think they might actually end up back closer together so we'll see how i'll see how that turns out in probably the next batch of episodes uh the panel also makes a comment like oh she's playing the field and I just want to be like, she's been there literally a day. Like, what is she supposed to do? She she needs to get to know these dudes as quickly as possible because she's at a disadvantage of any previous relationships. So I don't I don't hate her strategy and kind of wanting to play the field. All right, so episode seven, um, Hajong and Guan He talk. He's acting distant to her and he kind of wonders if she's being like I don't know if disingenuous is the right word, but um if She's just not giving off a good vibe to him, I guess. And the panel kind of goes back and forth on that. Like, what do they think? And again, it's just like, it's really hard to read what the true intentions are when they're, they, they don't really reveal a lot about themselves or just, and I, again, I, I can't tell if it's the translation or the dubbing, but again, a lot of, I feel like these episodes were kind of filler. It doesn't mean anything to me. And like, I, I don't think any relationships really went further, like at all. Um, then we get a flash that it's day six. And again, I'm just kind of blown away that that it's going to be 10 days or less. And they're going to have to make like, I'm going to date this person in real life, which is crazy. Because half the time they're not even on the island because they're in paradise. It feels like these days are like 48 hours. Um, they have another challenge. It's a men's competition. And again, this is for picking dates to go to paradise. And they kind of have to run a race. I don't, I don't know if it's like a circle of the full island, but... The guys start on one one section, and the girls are just kind of like on the at the finish line waiting. So uh, the order there, Guan He uh, gets first place, uh, Park Ming Hyo gets second, and uh, Wani gets third. And uh, Jin Zook, he's like a muscly dude. Um, he said his knees were bad. The girls were kind of surprised that he was in dead last, but it was kind of funny that like everyone finished and he's just walking to the finish line. Um, later in the episode, they are kind of before they make their selections. Some of the girls and guys are having like many conversations. Uh, Giru and Minbu are talking and she doesn't want to get picked by any of the, the people that won. And uh, Minbu is where he kind of says, they're like, hey, I think you are going to get picked. And she's like, I, I, I want to stay here with you. And I, that, that what does, I, I think they could be a potential match because, uh, like I said in the last one, he was her pick in episode six. So I want they probably had like a good connection. And if they do stay on the island, that's probably good because then they can be spending time together in both sections of the show. And I think that's probably what people need to do. And I feel like a lot of times, like we don't see a ton of it, but it'll be good for them. And so, like I said, the order, we get cliffhangered here. I mean, again, it's just like, I just feel like so I, I watched three hours of the show. And I still kind of don't know if truly anything happened of, of value. I really don't. Uh, let me know if you, you guys, if people watching this are like, think this is an amazing show and maybe I'm missing something and I, I maybe I'm just kind of not getting it, but I just don't think a ton happens. And I just don't, I, I just, I think a lot of the things could be accelerated like with conversations and, I just feel like there's a lot of dead conversations that to me don't go anywhere and the panel will comment on it. And they do a thing where they like replay moments. Like they'll say something, a uh, panel will react and then they'll play it again. Just a lot of stuff that I think could be cut down. Like these episodes don't need to be an hour and a half, but I'm here covering it. I will be back next week for the episode eight and nine. And then the finale, the following week, hopefully something happens, but um until the new year we kind of are are light on our videos i think the next video we will probably have is southern charm i think season finale southern charm i think 
could be wrong. Um, I'm, I think all of our Wednesday stuff is done. Um, if Brett does the challenge, maybe there'll be a video for that, but not 100% sure. But the next com- video I know will be out will be Southern Charm, and that will be Thursday. So thanks for watching. I uh, appreciate it. Uh, drop any comments, likes, or su- show suggestions in the comment section, and I will definitely give them a chance and check them out. So have a good evening. See you.